Welcome to Learning with Philemon. In the previous video, we saw that benzene does not react via the electrophilic addition mechanism like alkenes as it does not contain carbon-carbon double bonds. Benzene reacts via the electrophilic substitution mechanism. In this video, we will focus on the reaction of benzene with halogens. This reaction is also called halogenation. Remember that benzene contains six delocalized electrons in the molecular orbital above and below the ring, as seen in this diagram. This means that there is a high electron density in the ring. For more on the structure of benzene, please watch the previous video. When a halogen molecule, such as chlorine, Cl2, approaches the benzene ring, it is polarized. The electrons in the single covalent bond of the chlorine molecule are repelled towards the chlorine further away from the ring. This creates a temporary dipole, where one end of the molecule has a partial negative charge, denoted by the delta minus, and one end of the molecule has a partial positive charge, denoted by the delta plus. The electrons in the benzene ring are attracted to the more positively charged chlorine atom. A bond is formed between one of the carbon atoms in the ring and the chlorine atom, as depicted by the double-headed arrow. At the same time, the slightly negatively charged chlorine atom can take the electrons from the covalent bond and bond with aluminium chloride. This leads to the formation of the ion AlCl4-. Aluminium attracts electrons because in aluminium chloride, AlCl3, it has only three covalent bonds with chlorine atoms. Therefore, aluminium has six valence electrons, an incomplete octet. It is electron deficient and can form more bonds. The carbon atom that bonded with chlorine used two of the six delocalized electrons. This leaves four electrons to be shared among five carbon atoms. This leads to the ring having a positive charge. However, the positive charge is delocalized across the five carbons, as represented by the broken circle. This makes the intermediate more stable than if the positive charge were located on one carbon atom. In the IB course, you do not need to show how the electrophile is formed. However, for completion, I'm including the equation showing the formation of the electrophile. Note that an electrophile is a species often with a positive charge, that is attracted to electrons. In the IB, you can simply draw the benzene ring reacting directly with the electrophile, in this case, the positive chlorine ion. Now let's take a look at the second step of the mechanism. In the second step, the electrons from the AlCl bond formed in the previous step are used to form a bond with a hydrogen bonded to the carbon atom. This leads to the formation of hydrogen chloride, or HCl. Note that although not drawn in the skeletal structure, each carbon is bonded to a hydrogen atom. The electrons from a carbon-hydrogen bond become part of the delocalized system. This is often referred to as the delocalized system being restored. The full circle can now be drawn as there are six electrons yet again taking part in the pi bonding chlorobenzene is formed. Note that aluminium chloride is formed and can be used again in the first step. This mechanism is called electrophilic due to the attraction of the electrons in the benzene ring to electrophiles. The mechanism is called substitution because a hydrogen atom is replaced by a chlorine atom. Now let's take a look at the mechanism again but using bromine. The mechanism can be summarized in three steps. Note that the following is a more simplified version that can be used in the IB. The first step is the formation of the electrophile. In this case, iron III bromide reacts with bromine Br2 to form the ions FeBr4- and Br+. Iron III bromide and aluminium chloride are called halogen carriers, halogen-containing compounds used in the halogenation of benzene. In the second step, the electrons in the benzene ring are attracted to the electrophile. In the third step, the delocalized system is restored. In this case, we form 
bromobenzene. Thank you for listening. To consolidate your learning, try answering the questions in the description. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more content. Stay curious.